Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? Cub here and welcome back to our Tech It Legends Let's Play Adventure Extravaganza of Awesomeness, Fun Times, and Cool Things. And today we are still here at the end portal, just waiting on our esteemed guest to arrive. Ah, uh, hello. Ah, it sounds like he's coming here right now. Uh, in here. Uh, hello? Ah, there you are, Cub. Pleasant to see you today. Ah, what can I help you with? Like everybody, it's Ralphius Sarith, or Wizard Ralph. <laughs> yes, I, I do go by my full name these days, ever since leaving the Mist Wizards. And I see you don't wear those purple robes anymore. Ah, yes, well, no longer being a Mist Wizard, I can't very well walk around in their robes. And since we left the Guardian Order and started the Remnant, we tend to take things a little more casually. So I've got my casual garb on today. Ah, I see. Uh, what about the full name there? Well, of course, you can still call me Ralph, but this is the full name my parents gave me. Ralphius Arith. Arith, like arrhythmia. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with the term. I think it's like a heart murmur or flutter, it doesn't beat correctly. Hmm. Well, I don't practice medicine, but I suppose that might be what it means. My great-grandfather performed the first triple open heart surgery. Triple open heart? Yes, he performed it on three people at once. It was quite impressive. Wow. Civilization is well advanced of ours. Well, in some ways, although some of the things you tell me about are quite impressive as well. Like this internet you keep going on about. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. You look... You look a bit familiar. Like, you almost kind of look like me, except slightly better kept. <laughs> Kobe and I look nothing alike. Oh, you know what it is? It's the fact that you're rendered an 8-bit for me, so there's not a whole lot that, you know, there's not a whole lot of variation in appearances. Oh, that's correct. You see everything in blocks, don't you? Yep, the whole world is rendered in strange 8-bit blocks. That's very peculiar. Uh, but in any case, I guess it's something we'll just have to deal with. Yeah, I guess so. You're not like an older me, are you? <laughs> no, not at all. I think I would remember being you as a boy. Now I had quite a troubled childhood, actually. Right, well, we'll go into that another time. Oh, not at all, actually. Uh, well, what can I help you with today? You know, the Remnant Order is always here to aid our number one agent. Of course, of course, yes, well, I've got this portal here. Um... Oh my. That's an end portal, Cub. That, that leads to an end realm. Ah, so you're familiar with the end and the dragon. Dragon? No, I've... Didn't know there was a dragon in there. I must confess, none of my order have ever gone to an end realm before. You you know what they are, don't you? Uh, place to kill dragons and get eggs? Hmm, troubling. No, Cub, the end realm is actually a dying world. Or, I suppose, one that's already died. Really? Mm-hmm. When one of the worlds in our plane of existence ceases to exist, it begins to die. It ceases to exist and then dies? Well, that's not quite the correct way of explaining it. You see, a world ages very strangely. From what I understand, things are different in your realm of existence. Yeah, a little bit. Hmm, where in ours, the energy begins to drain from the world at some point, And eventually it'll wither away and, and die. It turns into the end realm. Quite a sad existence, really, especially for the residents. They, uh, the few who aren't fortunate enough to die, become these monsters. These end men. Ugh. Um. Wow, you, you're giving me a lot of information here I did not know. Hmm. Well, what did you need help with? Ah, I want to go build a base there. Good gracious, what, a, what in heaven's for? Uh, to build a nuclear reactor. Well, I guess it would be safer to blow up a dying realm than this one. All right. Why don't you just go on through and do it? Well, the, this is a bit far away from my base, and I wanted to move it, but I can't seem to. Hmm. End realms are very ancient. I wouldn't want to tamper with this one. I'm afraid it might shut down permanently if I were to mess with it. But perhaps I could create a duplicate portal. Oh, do you think you can do that? Oh, sh certainly. I've duplicated many portals in my time. I was one of the top mist wizards in my... Well, in any case, I'll, I'll, take, I'll take a look at it, and I'll get back to you. I should probably have it moved over in a day or so. Okay, excellent. So should I just leave you here to it? Of course. I'll, I'll be fine on my own. Well, 
you know, as on my own as I can get, what with all the guardians nearby. Guardians? Oh, of course. The same guardians that keep an eye on you are always looking after other members of the Order. There are no less than ten golems surrounding us right now. You won't see them, though. They are very good at being sneaky. Hmm. Huh. And they follow me, too? Uh, a different set, yes. And I don't see them? No. Do they watch me in the shower? <laughs> Come, you don't bathe here. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's outside of the game. I get real life and Minecraft confused sometimes. Here you go again about your Minecraft. All right, well, Mr. Wizard Ralph or Ralphius Aerith, I, I guess I'll leave you to this work and I'll head back to my base. I've got some things I need to do today. Very well, Cub. I do enjoy your day and I will get this back to you as quick as I can with the new portal. Excellent. All right, sir. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye, Cub. Travel safely. Oh, man, that's fantastic. So, oh, actually, I forgot. We need to we need to exit up here. Ah, right. Cheerio, chap. Good flight. Thank you, sir. Sir, route up, uh, sir. I don't think I've ever called him sir before. All right, well, I guess he'll get on fine by himself there. And home is that way. I'm almost sure of it, I think. Yeah, because there's some lights over here, and I think I put those lights down once upon a time. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's a glowing beehive. This is home, though. I'm pretty sure. So there you go. We've got Ralph back there. He'll get to work on moving that into portal, and we'll be able to go in there and build an end base in no time. So see, it ha it pays to have wizard friends. You know, especially ones that aren't trying to kill you like certain other wizards. But don't worry, I've got some other things planned for this episode. So let's just get back to the gaze and the gaze, the base, and we'll keep things going. Alrighty, folks, we are back, and I hope you folks don't mind me bringing the wizard Ralph in here. I know a lot of people panic when he shows up. No, oh, it's the end of the series. Irat's gonna show nonsense. We've already established we're perfectly safe here. The the Guardian Order is no longer taking care of my security. Instead, we have the Remnant, and they have been doing a fine job so far. We've got Buttercup here. Ralph, as he said, has his own guards, so we're not gonna worry about them. What we are gonna worry about today is tweaking some things that I should have known about from the very beginning. And in fact, one thing right off the back, this guy here. This guy here is not producing nearly enough energy to power this thing at top performance. So what we're going to do is, instead of moving him over to here, so he sits right in the battery power tap, instead, we're going to hook him up directly to the big reactor, which in my mind seems to be the best idea, and I could be wrong on this, but let's go ahead and deactivate the reactor. We, send, we spend a lot of time activating and deactivating the reactor. What we're going to do is we're going to break out this piece here. That took a lot longer than I thought it would be. I was going to like leave this short little pause in the conversation and then whatever. So do we need, uh, is it, what do you call, rea we'll just try that. We'll type in reactor and then I think it is reactor. Oh, it's power tap. Everything is a power tap. Well, great. We'll place this here and then we'll fly up to this guy. And I want to be cautious with him because I do think that I remember reading that there was a slight glitch with him. So what we will do is we will add, add grab the wrench here and we will break him free. And we will move it. I keep calling it a him. I don't know if it's a him. I feel like it might be. We'll connect it up to here. And we will turn it around this direction. All right, so that's going to give us some raw energy straight out of the big flux generator. In theory, in practice, I don't know. I haven't tried this yet. Well, we'll find out in a second, okay? Let's go ahead and we'll get our tool out and break all of this nonsense. We're going to have to reorder the way we do power. Unless I gr run around to the back and just grab more power cables, which I could do easily. I, There's nothing stopping me from doing that, except for the fact that I'm just really, really lazy and I don't want to. I would much rather just see if I can do it. You know what? We're just going to consider this like a, a test of my abilities to do things efficiently. And if I can efficiently do this, then I'm an efficient person. So we'll drag these out along this level here. We want to be, we want to be cautious. All right, we'll set down the transformer. Let's just connect it directly up to this guy if we can. Ah, oh, we've done that again. Get it, get it. Get, oh my gosh, I'm hitting the... There we go. Okay, good. We'll put this back in there. Okay, and then we will get... <laughs> we'll get our transformer. We'll hook it back up. I... I forget which is the input and which is the output. It's been all of 10 seconds and already it's slipped in my mind. Well, let's just set this facing upward. What's the worst that could happen? Right? Are you getting power? Are you powered on? You're powered on. Power seems to be holding steady. We'll assume that's working. And then we'll carry this. What? Where did that even go? How does that even make sense? Why would it be placed there? Come on, game. 
don't be like this. This is not this is not the kind of day for this sort of thing. Hook that up directly. That should be getting power directly. Right, so this should now... Uh, oh, this stopped running. Oh, you know what? I turned off the reactor. That could be a problem. Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll turn this guy off. Uh, completely. So, just shut him down. Shut him down! Now, the reason we didn't put the... the, the uh, energy transformer, the the big flux generator directly on top of this is because then we wouldn't be able to access the power tap. Whereas here, it's plugged in directly. Directly? Doesn't matter. So hopefully, when we go turn on power, things don't end very badly for us. So here we go. Power on. And... This is almost out of juice. This is still running. So I guess it's fine. Theoretically speaking, uh, this is almost out of energy, though, so I don't think energy is going into here. So maybe if we... Uh, I don't want to have to break it. Can I not just... Ah, you know what? Shrek it. I don't know of a way to... Ah! Okay, well, I did something wrong there. Wrong things happened just then. You... You stop. Okay, so this is clearly working. Right? We've got that pretty much established. Why can't I not fly? What happened? Fly, darn you. There we go. This is clearly working, and it's working very quickly now. Jeez, it's working, it's working a lot faster. You, you are supposed to convert energy so that things don't blow up. Why are you not doing that? Why can this... I, I built another one. I could put upgrades in here. Do you think I should go build a transformer upgrade? Maybe I should. I don't know. Let's go try. Ah, da, 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 da. Stop this, stop this, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay. You go away. We'll place this guy back down. Where did it go? Right here. Place our new one down. Okay. And then we'll put a transformer in here. And then we'll put another transformer on the back. Which must be facing this direction. Except it's not. So we'll. No, that's not what I meant to do. Place it down. Okay, this isn't... At all, this is not going the... There we go. So this should now turn on. Maybe if I have a lever. No. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Okay, it's getting power. Alright. And if I take this transformer out, is it going to blow up? That doesn't make any sense. How come the transformer was working? <gasps> okay, theory time. That's what I do best here after all, is theories. How is this going? This this should speed up pretty quickly once it gets... Oh, no, wait, well, that was a mistake. Okay, we'll hold on to these. We'll wait for that thing to speed back up. Here's a theory for you. This was not getting near enough power to co to create high voltage uh, because it was being limited up, up top. So the whole time, it was never actually sending high voltage to the MV transformer. It was sending something lower, and as it turns out, we need something... We need to step it down to low voltage for the compacting recycler. Does that make sense? Maybe? Does anyone think that that makes sense? Does anyone think that that might be the reason? Because I feel like a dingus. That's what I feel like. So we'll set this back up, we'll tell this to do its thing. Oh, come on now. I forget how to do these. Okay, maybe we, we need to... Okay, no, you, you know what you do? You point the direction you want it to go. That's what you do. Put this back in here. That should start working. It's got a piece of scrap in it. Just just the one, though. Take the rest of these out. Oh, there we go. It's got three in there now. Four. Okay, yeah, it's working now. Definitely working now. Good deal. And then this guy up here wasn't working at all. Oh, it's because that switched around. Well, we definitely want to go from down there... We want to say, hey, if there's space in the inventory, energy pulse, energy pulse. Will that, will that work? Hopefully that'll work. I don't know. I still don't know if this is working the way it's supposed to. We'll find out eventually, though. All right. So are we good? How quick are you going now? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seems to be going pretty fast. I wonder if it's possible that this thing is still limited, though. Like, what would happen if... Why do I keep losing my ability to fly? Why is that a thing that's happening? What if we ran... Let's get these diamond pipes. 
And this is all experimental, folks. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just literally just trying things. But what if we ran all of this energy up here? Nope, nope, stop it. Right, so we get even more energy coming out of that reactor. Would this go any faster? Now, that doesn't look like that's made a difference. Or if it has, it hasn't been a very big difference. Let's check the reactor and see how much power we're producing. Okay, so we're, we're producing quite a bit of energy. We are... How much? Oh, okay, yeah. About 4 kilo RF per tick. That's pretty good. I'm not sure what the maximum amount of energy these things can output is. I'm going to guess it's a lot. But I don't know if one of them is enough to completely max out our big RF generator. Or our big flux generator. Or if all of this is making a difference and creating more energy. Hmm. In any case, we now have 40... 40 UU matter, which is a, a very good step forward. I think that's what we were up to last time too, but at least now, you know, we're getting closer. So if we can just, there we go. Look at that. So much closer to our 200 and whatever it was pieces I said before. Uh, how are you doing battery? Battery is empty. So I, again, it doesn't look like, I don't, do we need to store energy in here right now? If we're just using the reactor, Solely to power these guys over here. Maybe we don't need to store any of the energy in a battery. Maybe it's not. Oh, look at this. We can throw some of these things in there. Nope, oh, nope. Stay on. All right, so it looks like we're putting out a maximum of 4.02 kilo RF per tick. So we're going to go ahead and deactivate this. And like I said last time, we're going to do some trial and error. So this is still humming away just fine. We're not going to interfere with that. Hello, little skeleton. How are you still alive? Miracle. Right, today we're going to try switching out the diamond for some graphite blocks and see how that does us instead. And one, two, three. Okay, great. We'll fill it in again. Oops. Okay, our reactor will come back together and we will power it on. Now, we got to wait for it to heat up completely. Right off the bat, it looks like cooling is pretty close compared to diamond. I do think that diamond was a little bit closer. These two seem to stay closer to each other when it was heating up. Now, we have to wait just a little bit longer, make sure that these are both completely heated up before we can say whether or not this is accurate, because you see it's, it's still getting hotter. So we'll give it a little while, and then we will check it out. Okay, and for an experiment, I went ahead and I unplugged this, this kinesis pipe here from our generator over there, and it, it doesn't seem to have affected speed any. So what we might do is we might just go ahead and expand our generator and see if we can't produce a bit more power with it and then pump some of that excess power into the battery because really considering that this thing does have a lot of uh, EMC values most of the items do have EMC values there's nothing stopping us from just completely going overboard with it so this looks like it's finally leveled out and it does produce less energy using the graphite blocks than the diamond blocks so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a few more pieces and we'll see if we can't make this a bit taller and see where that gets us so I've shut it down it's cooling down I don't know if you have to shut it down before you break it it just always seemed like a good idea so let's get in there and give it a try <laughs> I don't know if this will work. Okay, it all came together as a giant beast. Let's hit the go button and see what happens. Okay. It's definitely heating up. That's a good sign. Okay, we're, we've gone over what we were producing before. We've gone over it quite a bit. We are producing a lot. Now, is that our maximum? Because that's not a whole lot more than what we went over before. It's still heating up. I guess it might take a little bit longer to heat up because it is so much larger. Also, we we do have a slight situation in that we, we don't have as much fuel because obviously there's more fuel rods, so the fuel it might we might need to go ahead and put some more in there. Yellorium ingots. I think you can automate this process too, but we're gonna go ahead and just throw more in. Ah! Fantastic. What does that put us up to? About 91%. Good. Whoa! Okay. We've now doubled, and we are getting very hot. Oh, jeez, we've blown up. Something? Something blew up. Oh, we blew up our transformer. So we're now producing energy so high that our transformer can't deal with it. Well, that's great. So how are we doing here? Well, this is going a lot faster. So it looks like we have now possibly reached the maximum. That, oh, geez, I hope the mass fabricator doesn't. The mass fabricator does not have any way to upgrade the power, so I think it's probably okay. It's a good thing we had a, a transformer 
on the back there instead of just a bunch of little transformer upgrades in here. Otherwise, that could have gone very poorly. Don't want to have to build another one of those things. Have we gotten to a point where, see, I want to get to a point where we're producing so much energy that some of it gets stuck in the buffer instead of being pumped into the, the this thing over here. Doesn't look like we're going to get to that point today. I guess I need to go make some more transformers. All right, so what we're going to do is a bit of a trial and error situation. We're going to put four of them in there. And then we're going to try a direct connection and hope to goodness nothing blows up. I did actually close my eyes just then, as though that would have helped me somehow. We're good. It hasn't blown up, but then again, I don't think it's done anything yet. Let's put something in there for it and see. Oh! Oh! Okay, we're good. Excellent. All is well. That's, that's fantastic. So you're now producing this stuff way faster. Look at that. Tick, 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 tick. Okay, good. And how about power? Hmm. Let's make it bigger. I mean, really, we've gone about as high as we can go here because we are now touching the ceiling. So, barring moving this stuff to another area, which we will eventually have to do anyway, I think this is as good as it gets. And here's hoping it does all come together. Yes, it does. And let's activate it. I hope nothing else blows up. Now that I'm thinking about it, things could possibly be- Wow. Oh, we're going further. We're going further than we have ever gone before. Now, fuel burn up is high. The fuel burn up is very high. But look at the amount of power we are producing. Have we reached our maximum heat? Looks like we've, we've leveled out heat on both fronts, on both the core and the casing. Energy, we are still not producing so much energy that some of it is being left behind. So I guess all of it's getting pumped in over here. But it doesn't look like anything bad has happened. In fact, this is going even faster. So can you imagine what would happen if we were to make this even bigger? Could we make it any bigger? Can you make it maybe wider? What would we do if we made it wider? See, now this... This is what everyone dreams of when they dream of large reactors. Okay, so we now full on Eulorium in this monstrosity that I've constructed. And we're going to turn it on and see what happens. Here we go. Right, so right off the bat, it heats up pretty quick. And we are producing a lot of power. Nothing's blown up yet, though. Are we about to hit the... What happens when it heats all the way up? What happens when it gets to maximum heat? Does things... Does this... Okay, good. We're not going to find out today. But that is... That is it there, folks. That's pretty darn big. It's not as big as it can get. Not by any means. But it is... Is that big enough for you? People who complain that it's not big enough for you. Because that's pretty big. And this... Doesn't look like it got... It does look like it got a little bit faster. That's good. And, and really, I don't, we don't have to worry about filling up this battery. Because what are we going to fill up the battery for? Like I said before, this exists to make this happen. No real need to... I should probably eat something. I'm on half a heart. No real need to worry about storing power for anything else. I mean, maybe when this is done, if this still has some fuel left in it, we'll go ahead and, and convert that into energy and drop it in our big-ish battery. But as of right now, we're pretty, producing 18.2 kilo RF per tick. I think we really want to get this down into the purple for like maximum efficiency but I don't care about efficiency I want a lot of power and we're getting a lot of power right now aren't we aren't we yeah you darn right we are this is amazing I guess since we're here we might as well do like a sideshow experiment and just plug this in and see what happens we'll set this to maximum it can take and so it's now feeding off to both of these is that affecting this any has this eh it looks like it's going the same speed to me. Look at it. Yeah, okay. Now we'll go back up here and we'll turn this off. So completely off. No, okay, yeah, this is this is going faster now. So I guess, yeah, we won't worry about this big battery for right now. We can turn it back on at any time and make that a thing that happens. But boy, is it hot. How am I even standing next to this thing? If the, if the casing is that hot, touching it would kill me. I Even this being in this room would probably... Of course, there's probably a lot of nuclear radiation pouring off the side of this thing and it seems to be relatively uh it seems to do a pretty good job with fuel it's only depleted 0.4 percent so that's not bad Alrighty, folks well if you want to see anything else with the reactor let me know i should go ahead and let you let you know i've got everything planned for episode leading up to episode 50 so next episode we're going to be looking at some different armor and some different tools and then episode 49 i got something big planned and then episode 50 i got something big planned and then you'll all you'll have to wait and see so until next time, I'll see you later, folks. Uh, bye!
This is like coming to the land of plenty. That is what we have been delivered to the promised land. We have come from out there in the wilderness where there were no animals and there were hardly any trees to this place. Look around us. Everything is here except for chickens, which is great because as we know, chickens are evil. They work for Raymond Card. So let's go ahead. We'll embrace the the bounty that's been given to us. We'll kill this. We'll kill this creeper. There we go. And we'll get to building. Let's do it.